Donald Choi, who is the managing director mm -hmm. of Nam Fung uh, Holdings. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Now, there's a lot of talk about Hong Kong real estate. Let mm. me first start with you. You've got the site now, no. 10.4 billion. Mm. Uh, as as they mentioned, it was slightly below expectations. Mm. And is that how you feel, or do you feel like you got a bargain? Well, I mean, the prices that we got the site for, I think, is uh, market price. It's reasonable, and we are happy about it. What is the plan for the site now? Now that you have it in place, uh, we are going to build uh, one third uh, of the site GFA uh, for villa. And then the other two thirds will be for apartments. Okay. Now, there's been a lot of discussion with the mm. Hong Kong government about yes. Hong Kong property. We mm. know prices are very high. In fact, it's known globally that Hong Kong has a reputation mm. for sky high property prices. And there's been a discussion that perhaps there's mm. not enough transparency among mm. developers. Mm. Now, you're a private developer, and there's mm. a lot of colleagues of yours that are yes. certainly public. Is there more that can be done from the developer standpoint to make things more transparent for the consumers? Well, obviously, the government has. Uh, guidelines uh, issued to make sure that the, uh, all the sales brochures and so on uh, contain all the necessary information. And we developers welcome that because that actually will increase the transparency and protect the consumers. Let's talk about affordability. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of discussion that you know I hear from different mm -hmm. folks out there that they simply can't afford the down payment on a lot of mm. these homes because it's it's so expensive. Mm. Is, is there some concern among developers that mm. perhaps that we're entering maybe the bubble phase or mm. are we at the beginning of something in terms of the mm. bull market for the property market? I think we need to look at the housing prices, uh, not in isolation, but in the overall macro economy uh, of Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong uh, fundamentals are good. And you know, we are benefiting from the growth of China. I mean, in the next you know, few years, China is continuous to grow at you know, close to 10 percent, and Hong Kong definitely will benefit from that. And if you look at the uh, mortgage to GDP ratio uh, in 2008, it's something like uh, just under 35 percent. So actually, it's at a, quite a healthy range. At what range would you say that China would go into bubble territory? Uh, not in the near future. <laughs> so you're quite bullish then on, on China? Yes. Th there's another discussion out there regarding gross mm. and net square footage. Mm. As you know, Hong Kong's practice is to yes. sell real estate on a gross square mm. footage, which means including the balconies and the doors yes. and the swimming pool. And mm. much of the rest of the world does it on, on net. Is mm. there a discussion perhaps to change that practice to make it more consistent to the global standards? Mm. Well, there are obviously discussions. And, you know, if there are consensus in the market, uh, we do welcome that. Let's talk about this, uh, this bidding process mm. in Hong Kong, because a lot of folks don't really understand this bidding yeah. process. And as you're holding up that sign, <laughs> do, you, do you sense that there's going to be other bidders? Or what's going through your mind as you're bidding for those projects? Or do you have a set number in mind as you mm. raise the $10.4 billion? Well, obviously, you know, uh, every bidders have their own calculations and, you know, their uh, own uh, expectation of the profit margin. It's, as well as the uh, AV accommodation value of the land. So, uh, you know, despite, you know, uh, the atmosphere of the uh, auction floor, I think every developer, you know, will have their bottom price. Okay, so here's the million dollar question. As you look at the Hong Kong market as it is now, would you be a buyer today of the Hong Kong property market, both luxury and mass residential? Mm -hmm. And if so, I guess why? Well, I think if you are, you know, uh, for own use, definitely, I think, you know, if you can afford it, you should get into the market. Again, for investment, there are different segments, and you need to, you know, look at the segments that you want to invest in and ensure that, you know, the return is reasonable or is, uh, you know, exactly as what you have expected. And I have to ask one more last mm. question, and that involves uh, one of your working colleagues out there mm -hmm. in the development world, Mr. Li Xiaoqi, and of course the controversial development at mm. Conduit 39. As you know, it was built as one of the most expensive mm. developments in the world per square footage, and then those transactions later on got canceled. Mm -hmm. What is the reaction among the other developers out there? Because it certainly has put a a darker cloud on, on mm. top of Hong Kong's real estate environment. Well, it's hard for me to comment on other, you know, um, developer practices. But I think, you know, uh, we are moving towards a much more transparent uh, transaction uh, um, information uh, era. And I think in future, obviously, the information will be made public and, you know, everybody will be operating on the same level ground. 
Nam Fung was privatized in 1989, mm. and of course, you know, other folks out there such as uh, Henderson Land, mm. Sung Hung Kai, uh, they're all public companies. Mm. Is there any discussion or any benefit to you looking at considering going public once again? Mm. Well, uh, we do not have any plan right now. Uh, obviously, different company has different needs at different time, so you know it's hard to tell. You know what, uh, you know why people want to go public and why people want to go private. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Donald okay. Choi, who is the managing director at Nam Fung, who made the 10.4 billion Hong Kong dollar bid, and he's bullish in the Hong Kong property mm -hmm. market.